Uh, what's up guys it's been your boy bossy tv here and today i'm going to be doing the my career mode part three but of course arsenal as you can see i'm in the final of the asian elite cup playing a decent side nothing really special i hope that we pick up this win you know i hope we do because if we don't then that's really really fucked up but i hope we pick up this win oh get in there boys okay so cockerlan plus the 45 i must have given a little bit too much for him but i really wanted him and we definitely got him the 22 year old draxler in arsenal get in there so I changed the formation from a 4-2-3 to a 4-2-2-2. Now this 4-2-2-2 formation is really really good, you know. Got two strikers, two cams, two centre defence and it's really balanced. I wanted to put in Draxler, but I also couldn't put Ozil in the wrong position. I couldn't put him in sentiment because that would just be stupid, you know. He's a playmaker, he's an attacking playmaker, so that's exactly what I did. Put him in the right positions, both of them. I put Welcott on striker, so I want to see how that goes. Put Ramsey in centre defence mid because I think he'll play really good there. As well as Shaka, so hopefully this goes well. Okay, so Real Madrid have come back to us and they said they want 47.5, but you could give less. Now I gave 35 plus Giroud, so what I'm gonna do is give. I'm going to give 50 plus Giroud, so hopefully they do do buy on that and they do give us Benzema because I think that is a lot for him, especially because he's 28. Although he's got 87 overall, but you know I don't really want to spend that much. And if it is the case and I do have to spend that much, then I might as well just get Griezmann. Okay, so as you can see, I'm playing the team I played before. Change the formation up a bit to so 4-2-2-2. So hopefully this goes well. What? No way. No way. Oh my god. Oh my god, we lost the final. Okay, this is absolutely bullshit. We just lost the final to a fucking shit team. Arsenal, you really do need to fix up because I don't know what the fuck happened there. Maybe I put Drexler in too early, you know. That was his debut and he didn't really perform to expectations to what I expected him to do. The whole squad didn't. Maybe it was my formation. Maybe they just didn't play good. Or maybe the other team just played better, man. Who knows? But they won and we lost. Hopefully we can pick ourselves up for the season ahead. And we've got another signing ahead. Now, as you can see here, Real Madrid has accepted. Now, all I have to do is offer a contract and he wants a wage of 220. Is that 220? at 275 so you might but i'm gonna give him that you know why not 275 and i'm going to give him five years and hopefully he bites on that i don't really want to give him up as of yet maybe in the near future but for now i'm just gonna not go for it i'm not gonna disallow all offers i'm just gonna reject it because in the near future i might want to sell him so here we are boys oliver Drude. i'm sorry you're gone you're going good riddance i'm sorry to say this to any arsenal fan that does like him i'm sorry but you know Drude just isn't world class for me i think benzema is a way better option you guys should also agree because come on man he plays at real madrid he plays at such a high level better than Drude ever does or ever could and now we have got him so i'm gonna accept the offer welcome benzema to arsenal now with Matasaka I'm gonna put him on a transfer list, hopefully someone bites on him and gets him and we'll be getting a new defender. Welbeck's been decent, he's been really good you know in terms of scoring goals, I put him on in that one match and he did score a goal for me last episode but I think it's time to say goodbye you know, 25 years of age, he's not gonna get any better than he is now, he might get up to at least a 85 maybe a 86 and that is good but you know we want world class strikers and he's just not gonna fit in here because we just bought Benzema you know we just got Benzema so he has to go and someone does I ain't gonna get rid of Perez because obviously Perez has just come in this season and I can't otherwise I might have actually got rid of Perez I'm sorry to say for now well back you have to go now I've heard a lot of things about this young guy you know Oxford and I'm gonna place a bid on him you know I did say I was gonna get a defender and you know although he's really young I'm also gonna get someone else as well as this guy hopefully he does come to us because he is at West Ham as of now he might come to us he might not but I am going to place a bid on him now it says this deal should look likely hopefully it goes through we don't really know how much he goes for or how much he wants it says he takes a salary of 9k 9.5 exactly you know estimate there but I'm gonna put in a bid of 1 million. I'm gonna put a bid of 1 million. Hopefully, he bites. Actually, I'm gonna put a bid of 950,000 just because his salary is so low. So, he should be able to take this, you know, he should be able to take the money. If not, then we'll just have to look for someone else. But West Ham should definitely, you know, consider taking this because, you know, 950k for him is really quite a bit. You know, he's only 17, but I'm gonna make him into something big. I'm gonna train him up, get his potential high. I'm gonna make him into a really good center back if he just comes to the squad. 
Okay, so West Ham did decline. They want a sum between 1.7, but you could try less. I'm going to place a 1 million bid then because I was originally going to do that, but then I said, nah, fuck it. But after they want a 1.7 mil for him, I might as well just give them 1 million and hopefully they buy on it. Okay, so I did say before that I want to get a centre back, and the one centre back I really want to get is Zuma. He's 21 years of age, really, really good, and I think I could make him into something really good as well. You know, his potential is really high. FIFA 16, I got him to 88 even at 89 I think just before I left one of the clubs I think I was playing with Liverpool at the time hopefully he decides to come to us you know it's gonna be hard to get him we're gonna have to pay a big sum because these are our rivals but hopefully they do you know I don't know how much I'm gonna give them so I'm gonna give a big sum of 25 million for the 21 year old hopefully they buy on this and if they don't then they're just fucking mad okay so I actually think I'm really stupid you know I should have checked his value I really should have but I paid a big sum of 25 million and I don't really want to go back on that so hopefully he does you know perform to my expectations in this day and age people are paying 50 million for fucking David Luiz you know Zuma is probably way better than David Luiz that's a fact I'm gonna give him 90k 90k he really wants and hopefully he does join us I'm also gonna put a five-year length contract on Zuma so hopefully he does accept so AC Milan won Espana but I don't really want to give him as of now because he's our backup goalkeeper Czech's not really gonna be here for that long Spurs want to get well back well they can go fuck himself because i ain't giving no one to spurs they can go suck a dick okay so as you can see from my lineup i got benzema in the lineup this is a new game already a goal by sanchez what a goal i actually haven't seen the goal i don't know what the fuck i said i don't know why i said what a goal but what a goal by sanchez nevertheless i know he probably scored a screamer just like he always does so that's it you know one nil for our first game against a big side liverpool i think we did pretty good you know against liverpool our first game of the season me as a manager i'm really happy about that the players should be happy too sanchez congrats to you you know i'm never gonna take you off the fucking team because you're actually a quality player just remember that sanchez but one nil sanchez scoring the goal and what a win Okay, so we picked up our first win of the season here with Arsenal winning 1-0 against Liverpool and Sanchez being this goal scorer. As Sanchez normally plays in left wing, but I put him in a striker position and it paid off. So guys, I'm going to end the episode here. This is episode 3, the FIFA career mode with Arsenal. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. If you could smash the like button, that would be great. Comment down below, sub to Bossy TV for any new subscribers and peace. Black got four bras and they all that we call that. Balling, doing this is my calling. Flow is so appalling. My phone.